It's been four days since a knife attack on children and their carer led to a riot in Dublin city centre. And the fallout from those events continue. A five-year-old girl remains in a critical condition in Temple Street Children's Hospital, while her carer, a woman in her 30s, remains in a serious condition in the Matter Hospital. A man in his 50s who is alleged to have carried out the attacks also remains in a serious condition. Meanwhile, pressure is mounting on the Justice Minister to be tough on crime. Helen McIntyre is moving ahead with new legislation to allow Gardaí to wear body cameras and use facial recognition technology to quickly prosecute those involved in violence and looting. Her position has been called into question by Sinn Féin, who have demanded her resignation. Meanwhile, the government are looking to Gardaí to find those responsible for the violence last week. So far, just 34 people have been arrested for either public order offences or for charges relating to rioting. With dozens more in videos from that night, Gardaí must now look to identify those pictured and find those responsible for organising the incursion. Since Thursday, a heavy Garda presence has been on O'Connell Street, but it's unclear how long that can continue. Both the Garda Commissioner and the Justice Minister have been invited to attend the Oireachtas Justice Committee. They're set to face questions about the force's response to the riots as politicians and the public search for answers as to why this violence came about and how to prevent it from ever happening again. Maraith Cleary, Virgin Media News.